Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolate Z Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we're going to start off this exhibition match stream with a match between North Chilean G and Toph on Red Comet. I'm curious how Toph has progressed. I've been watching them play a little bit here and there, but I haven't seen them play in a couple weeks, so let's see how they do. And North Chilean G, we all know North Chilean G. North Chilean G is a pretty good player. Going for Shieldbot Factory on Red Comet, of all places, a little bit of an unusual strategy. Not a bad strategy necessarily, but a bit unusual. Oops. And Hovercraft for Toph, as Toph actually starting out in a bit more of a defensive position as well. North Chilean G starting out in the center. For those of you who haven't really seen Red Comet since it hasn't come up much recently, this map, you can start anywhere along the west or eastern sides. Well, western for, for the western player and eastern for the eastern player. But most of the time, people will start over in the corners because that's more defensible, as Toph is doing. However, North Chilean G's position is a bit more of an offensive position. You can, you can more easily take the northwest and southeast. Sorry, northwest and southwest, or northeast and southeast, but you do have the risk that you are further forward. And holding either of those positions becomes a little bit harder, and raids along the northwest or north or southeast, in this case northwest, because that is where Top is coming from, those become a little bit harder to deal with. Not impossible, and North Chilean G is already on top of it. They are already apparently well aware that they are going to be raided. Yeah, they can already see that there is a dagger coming in. They have the radar in place, so they're good. On the other hand, North Chilean G... Coming in a little bit to Toph. Not sure where Toph is set up. And Toph doesn't know where North Chilean G is set up. But yet, yeah, at this point, North Chilean G knows, okay, Toph has probably gone over to the northeast side, not started in the southeast, or, well, not center. Very rarely do people start in the southeast. Either 3v3 or if someone absolutely expects their opponent's going to start in the corner, in the more defensible corner, and decides to try to rush them, which I've only seen once. So, North Chilean G, looks like they're they going pretty quick for... No, okay, going for Outlaw. Wasn't sure if they're going to go quick for Thug Law, but no. Very quickly for Outlaw. Which does make some sense as a way of getting rid of the daggers as they come in. Daggers are kind of a tricky unit to deal with, but honestly, it's more just the fact that they deal so much damage in volleys. Like, each volley deals 110 damage. So they're dangerous, but... More so when they get into numbers. You don't really have much of a danger when there are only, like, two or three of them. But at this point, it looks like that is with the Outlaws 4, just, just to deal with anything coming out from that. At the same time, Toph already switching over to their Riots. A little bit, at least. Getting a mace up, getting more daggers afterwards, so they are going to be susceptible to that Outlaw. It's just, Shield versus Hover is not a match we see very often, which is very intriguing to me. At the same time, we have the daggers coming down here to the south. They probably will die. I don't see them happening. And Orphelius is able to watch the stream. Hello, Orphelius. But yeah... I don't really see this working out for... Wait, no, wait, what am I talking about? I'm talking about a thing that just happened, which is that the daggers died, because of course they did. Tough, expanding a little bit more slowly. This is what I was talking about as far as North Chilean G starting location goes. They're far better able to handle the expansions. Tough, on the other hand, they can expand over here, and they can expand down here to the center, but expanding to the southeast is much harder to do. So I don't really know how that's going to work out. The only thing that I can see happening is probably... Well, North Chilean G won't be able to attack the north easily. They can attack the eastern side with some difficulty. But at this point, I don't think they care. I think their way of playing right now is build up their economy, play a bit defensively, just set up what they need to. Don't worry too much about trying to break down Toph. Just make sure Toph can't do anything to them. And given that North Chilean G is ahead economically, that is a sensible plan. That is the way to go. Toph, at this point, surprisingly not expanding as much as I would have expected them to. And same with North Chilean G. I don't think North Chilean G is actually aware how little Toph has expanded. They're, they only have about five metal extractors so far. Or, no, they have to have six. No, they don't. Never mind. Red Comets are a bit more valuable. So, yeah, there's only five so far. And at this point, this is where the daggers come in. This is where Toph might be able to break North Chilean G... Or at least open them up a little bit. Thankfully for North Chilean G, there is some scouting going on. That bandit gave its life to tell it, Hey, there are daggers coming. You might want to be careful about those. That being said, North Chilean G doesn't really have an army to deal with this in position. They're pretty much focused entirely on banging down the north door. Got rogues set up to deal with the maces. They have outlaws set up to, I guess, deal with any supporting daggers. But the southern dagger assault, I mean... 
Oh, they're not even aware of it. North Chilean G has very... Okay, now they know. Now they know. What is their reaction going to be? That's... Apparently not going to be particularly forceful. The daggers are coming in, and they're going to be a problem here. But no, they aren't going to end up actually mattering all that much. North Chilean G finally going after them, but I guess part of it is that, well, daggers aren't really fast. There's not much point in trying to go after them like that. I think when the outlaw comes out, that'll be the end of the dagger raids. Although, even then, these daggers are not living that long. Already a couple of them have gone down. There's only three left. The Lotus being rapidly repaired to deal with them. The Lotus might go... No, it's not going to go down in the process. So that dagger assault was a complete waste, and all of them are going to be reclaimed fodder. Every single one of those things is pretty much just food for these convicts here. 207 metal. That is quite the donation. At the same time, though, the mace has been discovered with painful results. So North Chilean G losing a few units. More importantly, excessing quite a lot of metal. They need a lot more energy. They need a couple, I don't know, 10-ish. Well, okay, they need at least five solar plants in order to really be able to support this with reclaim. I would still say 10. Yet, where are the solar plants? North Chilean G, you need your solar plants. Toph is fine for that, but Toph also needs to actually get more metal. Like... <laughs> Right now, North Chilean G still has better production than Toph, mainly because Toph doesn't have the metal to make it actually work. They're getting it, though. They are managing to get that metal, and those daggers coming in once again, it's kind of hard to find a position for them to actually attack from. I mean, if Toph had perfect knowledge, they could actually attack the main base pretty directly. There's very little there that would actually stop them, which is unusual. I mean, that's normally not how the game goes, so I wouldn't be surprised if they never go for it. And Halberts... Interesting choice. That's actually pretty typical. It's not even that interesting. That is what you should do. So Toph making a lot of really good choices here. They're going for the units to break the defenses. I mean, they know that North Chilean G has the defenses, so they want to break those using halberds and similar units. Wait, no, that's the only type of unit that will do that. But yeah, halberds. Use halberds. Break defenses. That's how it works. Their expansion time has been slowed, though. I think they might be worried about these raiders here. They're vaguely aware of them. Toph is vaguely aware that there's a bunch of raiders coming down here from North Chilean G, but really Toph just hasn't gone from the southeast at all, which is kind of detrimental to them. Halberds not wanting to go through. I'm a bit surprised those halberds probably could have actually... No, the Stardust would have been too much. Never mind. The Stardust would have wrecked them. But all they really need to do is find a weak point, which is here-ish, like this area here. With halberds, they'd be able to break through these three lotuses no problem, and then just come up from the south side, run into the base. That'd be no issue at all. So the north side right now for North Chilean, Chilean G, extremely well defended. The southern side, not so well defended. And the halberds trying to come in here. The halberds getting into a fight they really shouldn't get involved in. And this is going to be their grave for a lot of them. The bandits are just making short work of these halberds. Not at all worth it. Some damage was dealt to North Chilean G's forces, but this is in North Chilean G's territory at the moment. So those those halberds, they're not worth it. Like three halberds went down for that one fight for basically no gain. I mean, North Chilean G is probably aware that Toph would be best going to the south side of the map. The north side is far too well defended for halberds to deal with. Benetrator would have no problem, but halberds, no. South side is great. That's halberd food. There's nothing there that really would stop half a dozen halberds. But it looks like, no, they're going to the north side instead. With the penetrator support, this is still going to be tricky. That stardust is not something the halberds can deal with. At least not without massive losses. <laughs> Orphilia's pointing out, this, this screams roaches. And yeah, yeah, roaches would be a good idea here. Just stick them in a few pretty common lanes that Toph is trying to go through, and then anytime a bunch of daggers comes in, blow them up. Anytime a bunch of halberds come in and start fighting, blow them up. Wouldn't be a bad idea. The daggers are more what you'd want to do, though. That's that's what you want to hit. Because daggers are the thing that's going to get you, well, all the kills for all the money. For very little effort. And now the Halberd's going into the northern side. They still haven't gotten rid of the Stardust, but they have at least gotten rid of one of the Faradays. And that is indeed the goal. Get rid of the Stardust before it kills too many of them, and only killing one of them, actually. 
That's relatively effective. So yeah, the Halberds breaking the north side. North Chilean G losing a lot of defenses here. Not losing a whole lot of money, though, but their commander having to dig themselves into the ground so they don't die. And I don't think North Chilean G has any storages in play either, so that commander goes down. North Chilean G's entire stock of metal there, which is almost 500 at this point, that's going to go down too. North Chilean G still hasn't gotten enough power, especially now that they, okay, they had enough power, but they lost it. And they never really had enough in the way of construction. They have this Dante that's being pushed up 35 metal per second. Not bad, but considering that they don't have the energy to really support that, if that commander dies, 500 metal goes down the drain. It looks like rebuilding power has happened, so at the very least, North Chilean G can, if they chose to, start using the metal that they are currently accessing. Same with Toph. Both players accessing a lot of metal here. Toph, why are you not building things? You have an entire factory. You could probably actually... Add another factory on top of that. Especially to deal with this Dante. Like, two or three penetrators right now! That would kill the Dante, no problem. The Halberds, not so much. The heat rays would wreck them, but... Yeah, penetrators. Penetrators, what are you doing, Tuff? You have the answers. You have several answers. Or at least you could, if you were spending the money that you have. Well, it's two of them, but I don't know why Toph is not building anything. They have nothing on the map. No ongoing construction projects on the map. They don't have an infinite build going on. They've been accessing resources the entire time. North Chilean G, they are losing metal. These daggers over to the south have been doing a wonderful job ripping apart the south side. But it's not enough. Okay, at least the penetrators managed to do their job. So the Dante is out. This is this could be a turning point for Toph. If they attack with halberds over to the south side, the daggers can't really do it. Actually, you know what? No. No, no, they could. There's eight of them. Yeah, they could rip apart a lotus one at a time. Like, run in, shoot a Lotus, run off, run in, shoot a Lotus, run off. Now, they would probably lose one of their number in the entire fight. And they have spares, so they could do that and still one-shot the Lotuses. And Toph is turning this around. In large part because North Chilean G just was not producing what they could based on what their economy was. And they could really use a Caretaker by their Shieldbot factory. I get what they're trying to do, build up Striders, build up Dantes. But Toph right now has the Penetrators. They can counter the Dantes. The Dantes aren't a threat. What would be a threat would be either a bunch of rogues or possibly a bunch of bandits. Well, bandits are getting rid of the penetrators. And roaches in general for making sure the daggers can't get around anywhere. Like, shieldbot factory stuff. Or switch over to air factory and either Thunderbolt or, or say Thunderbird or Phoenix. Just to wreck everything. Now this one with the Stardust down, this entire construction area here is pretty much open. Once the bandits are done, there's nothing stopping these halberds from just destroying everything before the Dante gets built up. The only thing Top needs to do right now while they're doing this is build up their economy, and they will have this. North Chilean G does have a lot of potential for reclaim. They do have the commander right here, alongside about 1,200 metal worth of reclaim. And I think they can reclaim when they're inside the hole. But the thing is, North Chilean G doesn't have a huge amount of production going on that would actually support that. Especially given that they're about to lose their entire production center right as the Dante gets completed. Perfect timing! At the very least, North Chilean G can hold this off with the Dante, but... Man, they've got to find a way to rebuild this. They need... They need constructors over in their main base. They need to start building up caretakers on top, or just a bunch of convicts, on their main base, on their main shieldbot factory. And then use that. Because I don't think they have any other constructors except for the command... No! No, their commander's it. Their commander is it. They need to build a convict right now if they want to get anywhere from here. Besides dead. There is... I'm just surprised the North Chilean G is not building up other factories. They're not building up a bunch of caretakers around their shieldbot factory. They're very focused on getting this Dante going. And I can kind of see that. Dantes are an intimidating unit that often win games, but... There wasn't a massive advantage North Chilean G was trying to use to close out the game with. And Toph... Going for those halberds was really a brilliant move. The only downside for Toph is that they were accessing metal for quite some time. If they hadn't done that, it would have been a much more decisive setup, especially since North Chilean G had been accessing throughout. Like, North Chilean G, their economic advantage did not translate into that great of a production advantage, especially since they weren't supporting their Shieldbat factory. It was almost all going into the Dante, which was countered. Toph just had the counter for it. Like, all the halberds, all the penetrators, the halberds stopping the Dante from really dealing much damage, the penetrators killing it, and the halberds finishing it off once the D-gun's out. You know, you know what we haven't seen this match? We haven't seen any, any, 
Why can't I run the name of the unit right now? It's the unit that fires missiles. And blows things up. Scalpels! I knew it started with an S. See, here I have an issue with mixing up units that start with an S, and now I just forget the name outright. Scalpels! Yes, we haven't seen any of those, which were a staple fact, staple unit for the Hovercraft factory. And I am perfectly fine not seeing them, because, man, these halberds have done work. And halberds are a strong unit. They're a little bit... They're a little bit underestimated, because, honestly, they deal way more power than that little laser makes it seem. Like, that's 150 damage every shot. So, a handful of halberds, yeah, they cost 240, but that's not much. And given the amount of damage they deal, and that weapon's fairly quick and accurate, like, it's actually quite powerful. And, of course, they can just armor in and break up anything. And even when they don't, they have 1250 health. Halberds are a great unit. I mean, the downside is that once they are, if they are surrounded by something, they're kind of hooped. Like, a bunch of raiders come in and surround them, they're dead. Like, if they, if they open up to attack, they're dead. Assuming there's enough raiders surrounding them. This is not enough. But if there are, yeah, then they don't have much of a chance. And actually, roaches would do well if they were attacking. If the halberds were attacking. At any rate, North Chilean G, I'm not sure what they're planning on doing right now. They do have, finally, some shield bot extra production going on here. And they have the caretaker for the reclaim, so they might be able to build their way back into this, maybe. Top at this point, though, so secure in the right side of the map. With the Dante coming in, trying to break that. Maybe breaking that, but at this point, Toph wouldn't lose much if they lost their commander. Like, they don't even have much in storage. This is actually the worst time for North Chilean G to try to hit the commander if they did. Which, it doesn't look like it. The Dante just seems to be there to try to posture a little bit, but not actually build anything. However, speaking of building things, Gunship Land is coming up for North Chilean G, finally getting something in the air, but I still think planes would be a better option. Both for disabling and just for direct damage. You can use Ravens to get rid of the Penetrators. You can use Thunderbirds to just shot up, shut down everything. You can use Phoenixes to get rid of the Daggers. Gunships kind of have that, but it's a little bit harder to deal with the speed, and Flails are a pain. You do not want to be using Gunships against Hovercraft for that reason alone. Just because of how powerful Flails are. And... Uh, Halberds finally go down, but not before dealing loads of damage, wrecking most of North Chilean G's bases. And the Dante is well going down, thanks to the Penetrators. There's already five, four of them. Already four of them. So that's, like, I think that's 3,000 damage a shot, right? Yeah, that's 12,000 damage. If the Dante comes anywhere near the Penetrators, the Penetrators kill them. It's just over. There's nothing that can be done with the Dante. It can't do anything. The only answer here is going to be either a bunch of Ravens or a bunch of Bandits or maybe some Roaches in the right spots. Penetrators don't have much health, so Roaches would do fine. And indeed, the Bandits are the solution of choice, but I don't see there being enough of them. The Halberds are doing a fine job body blocking for the Penetrators. One, one Hero Bandit trying his best, but no, I'm afraid you cannot actually kill those Penetrators. Not in any reasonable amount of time. What is being done here, though? Like, Toph is going for an airplane factory, getting some... getting a Vulture and then getting some more Verns out there just to finish the job if need be. But honestly, I don't know what the plan is. A bunch of Banshees that... I guess maybe. I don't see it working super well, though. I mean, we will see a Flail pretty much... If not a Flail, then... No, there it is. There's the Flail. I was going to say, if not a Flail, then a Swift. But yeah, we're going to see a Flail. And actually, as it is, there's enough in play between the Halberds and the Penetrators that this isn't going to last. Especially not one at a time. The Banshees really can't do much. There's too much fire. Actually, no, the Halberds don't mind. Never mind about the Halberds, but still, there is too much firepower on the ground. And this is not going to work. I'm sorry. And there goes the there goes the gunship plant. And with that, pretty much all of North Chilean G's hopes and dreams of winning this match. I mean, I still don't know why they went for that and not for air. At least with air, they could have stunned everything out. But it sounds like that is going to be it. So North Chilean G throwing in the towel. Top taking the game. Not a bad usage of Hovercraft. Although I got to say the excess was pretty telling. Actually, metal income. Yeah, at this point, North Chilean, G, North Chilean G had a lot of metal over Top for the first half of the match. 
And then it fell apart, of course, and the excess was really not worth it. it honestly, it was just the Dante. A slight overfocus on the Dante, not enough focus on the factory itself. That seemed to be the main error that was made by North Chilean G that Toph didn't make. Toph focused on their factory, really built it up, got their standard ground army going. And they had the tools to deal with the Dante, and that was with not really having much to begin with. They just had enough production power in their factory that they could get the Dante's counter up right away. Anyway, that was that, so next match is going to be between... Let's see, it was... Ah, North Chilean G again against Silent Shadow on Adansonia. So stay tuned for that, it'll be up in a couple minutes.